Yo, what up, YouTube? Say what up, babe. What up? Finishing the last of my mutton sandwich. It's delicious. Oh my god. We're out here in Gallup, New Mexico. We're set up at the flea market. We're so surprised we got a space because we didn't show up till 11 o'clock. Even after 11, it's, this place was busy. It's busy. So I'm going to take you around. Let's go walk around. found anything yet. <laughs> you see that everywhere. Alright, update. The rain looks like it's gonna come, so we're gonna close up shop, but we did good today. Regardless, people are breaking down. Yep. Yo, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, this one's going to be a short one because, man, we had a lot to do this week. Working and all that mumbo jumbo. But you guys saw that we set up in Gallup, New Mexico flea market, uh, Katrina's hometown. So shout out to y'all. But my favorite thing, I was gifted this by Katrina. This guy only wanted $20 for this. This is a turquoise number eight, guys. Number eight. And this is like really pretty pricey. It's even stamped sterling on there. Shout out DH. Forgot his real name. But this is like could be easily $75 to $150 piece. So, you know, some people just need money, you know, and need need, need things gone. So, yeah. Um, so this was this was beautiful. I'm so glad to have this now to my collection. So thank you. All right, let's get into a few things uh, I didn't get to show in the video. Um, I did stop at the end of the video. You saw a little clip. I found a Mickey Mouse hat for a dollar. I've still I've actually sold this before. It's like a denim Mickey Mouse. Typically this is like for kids, but this is like a pretty adult size. So. That's why I decided to pick it up. And it's got that nice goofy, Goofy's hat tag right there. And yeah, made in USA, so. And then I went inside the building. Last time I never got to go inside. Uh, so they had a lot more things. And I also found this hat for a dollar. Nice little Tweety Bird hat with a cool little pocket, cool little stash pocket. And again, you know, these typically mean for like a child, but this is pretty adult size, so. And got that Looney Tunes tag right there. And you're gonna see a date for, let's see, 1999. So that was a cute little find. Also inside, a nice little vintage country piece. The natives love the country. Got a little Tracy Bird. Tracy Bird, he charged me three bucks for this nice on that fruity xl and then you got the little tour dates on the back so not too shabby this is between like 25 and 30 dollars so still not bad all right 
And then I only found one piece at the flea market and you guys saw it. It was a Supreme piece. Is it real? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But for two bucks, I wasn't going to leave it behind. And I still think I could turn it into some profit. Of course, you never want to lie to people, you know. I'm going to say it's bootleg. So, here's why. Alright, let's show it off in full, full spectrum right here, right? Show it off, show it off. Um, the stitching looks good, you know what I mean? The stitching up close looks good, but it's the tag, you guys. Like, I don't think the Supreme is supposed to be that up close to it, right? I don't think it's supposed to be that up close to it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a Supreme buyer. I have a few pieces, but I don't buy it all the time. And yeah, I just, I just don't think it's, it's real. So yeah, guys, I mean, you guys can tell me down below, but, and it was missing a button. You know what I mean? So, but hey two dollars I mean it's so cool from afar right cool looks good, looks good. bootleg who cares <laughs> alrighty guys but thanks for tuning in but yes new videos dropping every Wednesday hope y'all are doing good out there happy treasure hunting and yeah this week this week has still been good I uh, made some great sales. Probably pop them over the screen, you know. Doop, 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 doop. So, yeah. Hope y'all doing good. Stay up. Stay blessed. Peace and love to you guys. Alright, till next time. Bye.